Not a very nice way to start the new trading week with the stock market down more than 2% on Monday. Uh, so, are we still losing some shirts this Tuesday? Well, of course, we expected it, but how much weight are we losing? Let's get on to Rutimi Fakaijo, who is a trader and chief executive officer at Enterprise Stockbrokers. He's joining us via phone in downtown Lagos. Rutimi, good morning. Good morning. Okay, we were all happy last week. This is the first time you and I are getting together in the new week. Um, are we losing our happy mood already? Not necessarily, because though what happened yesterday was uh, quite expected, because uh, we had, we, there's so much room for profit taking, and that exactly happened yesterday. And we could see the kind of volume turned out yesterday, and also the value. So it's quite unexpected. And uh, to me, I believe it's not enough for any for shareholders or investors to lose their sleep. Okay, so we're starting uh, Tuesday. We're about a few minutes to 11 local time. We're about 30 minutes into session. Uh, give us the numbers. Uh, look into the trading uh, engine and, 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 and tell us where we are as we go around the pre-opening period. Yes, uh, <laughs> presently right now, we, the market is doing 0.21% negative. And uh, so far, we've done quite a good volume, about 83 million shares. Uh, for a value of 748 million naira, so it shows very well that uh, we are starting in a very good note this morning, in spite of what yet happened yesterday. Because ordinarily, with a loss of 2.41 percent, we would have expected that most of the uh, securities this morning will have been on red, but it's quite the contrary. So we expect that the things definitely will begin to shape up. We are seeing more volume for quite a good number of securities, and even Guaranteed Trust Bank has gained this morning. So we expect that uh, things will continue in this slide, and a lot of securities that uh, may really go down further, I believe they're already finding stability at this time. Uh, where are investors and your colleagues talking around sectors that may take some of the heat in terms of profit-taking and those that may hold on a little bit uh, until we have inflation, until we have budget, and we have uh, budgetary spending, and, and maybe the GDP numbers, and the next week, uh, monetary policy interest rate uh, meeting with the central bank? Uh, well, I think for profit-taking, we've seen a lot of that in the banking sector stocks. And I believe that uh, going forward, yeah, the is a, is a very sector that is going to have more stability than others. But for with respect to the budget and the MPC meeting taking place next week, I think a lot will need to be said. And also at the same time, we are hoping that um, the uh, industrial goods sector and consumer goods may definitely be more beneficiaries of the outcome of the passage of the budget and also the uh, outcome of the MPC meeting. Uh, very quickly, one minute, look into the oil and gas. Uh, 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 Forty Oil seems to be making a very gentle comeback. Uh, meantime, Mwando has seen a lot of uh, activities in there after his facts behind the figures last week and clarifying his position as far as the Portaco refinery deal with the federal government and ENI was concerned. Uh, well, I think for now, um, though for Mwando, there is some quite a huge transaction this morning, and uh, the, the, present, the present price is 7.04 Naira. It has shed, it's shed off some points, and we expect that it's definitely going to regain that, even if not completely today. For Fort Oil, I think it's still here and there. We need to have more information to be able to make uh, better decisions concerning that. But for the oil and gas sector, is uh, the index is down for now. Rotimi Fakaijo, uh, trader and chief executive officer at Enterprise Stockbrokers, we thank you very much for today. And that's about all for this edition of Business Morning. I am boosting them off you from all of us in Lagos. Goodbye for now.